Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2005 Lexus IS300. This is the first gen IS300, so it should be the same, if not very similar, to the 1998 to 2005 year model IS series. I'm going to be pointing out numerous emissions components. On this label, you'll find important information about your vehicle, such as what emissions components are on your vehicle, and if your vehicle is a California or federally certified vehicle as well. To start off, first we have a oxygen sensor. Here is your bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor, or possibly air fuel ratio sensor. Look for a link in the description below to purchase if you need one. Now that oxygen sensor does not look too hard to replace. So hopefully that is what you're looking for. But if not, moving on, we're gonna look down the exhaust stream just past the catalytic converter and you're gonna find another oxygen sensor. Right here, you're going to find your... Here is the location of your bank one, sensor two, oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. If you need one, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase. Those are your easiest oxygen sensors to replace on this vehicle. We have two more to point out, and they do get roughly harder, uh, other than the one under the vehicle, but crammed between the firewall. Here is your bank two sensor one, oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. If you need one, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase. Pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors or lambda sensors measure the amount of air to fuel ratio in the exhaust stream coming from the combustion process through the exhaust stream. With this reading, the computer knows how much fuel to give or take away from the engine to create the perfect combustion air to fuel ratio. A bad oxygen sensor can cause poor fuel economy and also if you have a heater circuit malfunction code such as a P0135 or a P0141, I would start thinking or suspect your oxygen or lambda sensor to be at fault. If you have a lean or rich code, I would at that time start my diagnosis to find a leak in the vacuum system or the exhaust system that the computer cannot fix by giving or taking away fuel from the combustion process. These are your pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors. The post-catalytic converter oxygen sensor will be under the vehicle right around where your passenger's rear end would be. So you might need to jack up this side to get to it properly. I'm going to squeeze under here for video's sake. Here you go. Here is the location of bank two sensor two, oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. Link in the description to purchase one as well if needed. Post catalytic converter oxygen sensors are on your vehicle to measure the efficiency of the catalytic converter and should not affect the efficiency of the engine itself. But that is up for debate these days. If your rear Oxygen sensor is going bad. It could give you a false check engine light for a P0420 or a P0422 as such, saying it's bad catalytic converter when it's just the oxygen sensor not reading properly. Here is your post catalytic converter oxygen sensor. Now that's all the oxygen sensors on your vehicle. If you do need any of these, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase them. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share as well as we're watching. Moving on to the top of the vehicle, or top side of the engine, you're going to find your... Here is your PCV valve. The PCV valve uses the engine vacuum to pull blow-by gases out of the crankcase and push the gases into the intake manifold and back into the combustion chamber where they will be reburned through the combustion process and hopefully go out the tailpipe and through the catalytic converter to be cleaned up. If you have a bad PCV valve, it can cause many symptoms from an increase of internal combustion pressure, which causes excessive blow by, and that's how you get oil leaks, a lot of oil leaks, 
failure of one or more seals and gaskets, again, oil leaks. You'll get moisture and sludge buildup inside the engine if your PCB valve is stuck in the closed position. Moisture and sludge is obviously not good and causes more problems down the road. If you have a stuck open PCV valve, you're going to get a rough engine idle, you're going to get a bad air fuel mixture and increase of oil consumption as well. You might also start to see blue smoke come out of the tailpipe because you're going to be sucking so much oil through your PCV valve. This is your positive crankcase ventilation valve. Right next to the PCV, you're going to find an emissions component. Here is the... Your canister purge solenoid is a solenoid used by the computer to allow emissions vapors to flow into the intake manifold and flow through the combustion process to be burnt out the tailpipe through the catalytic converter. Your purge solenoid can cause codes such as P0496 and P0441, P0443, and P0445. If any of these codes were to come on, I would start thinking this purge solenoid is at fault or the wiring that controls it could be at fault as well. This is your canister purge solenoid. Don't forget to check out my video library if you're chasing an EVAP code. I do have some diagnostic videos on the EVAP system. EVAP failures is one of the hardest uh, things to diagnose in my opinion and there's so many ways you can diagnose them. A bad vapor canister purge solenoid can cause so many different codes other than just the particular code for the purge and same with the uh, the vapor vent solenoid so if you're uh, looking for one of those codes make sure you ask for some help and then see if i can help you out here you're going to find the here is your fuel vapor canister or also called your charcoal canister it is an emissions control device that traps vapors from the EVAP system and sends them to the fuel tank for later use, if it's working properly. They very rarely go bad. This is your fuel vapor canister. All these components right here would be hard to change because they're above the differential. Right here is the vapor vent solenoid. Again, really difficult to change hopefully there aren't your problems or your issues that's causing your problem like subscribe and share maybe one of these two videos right here will help you out and i'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video